My skin glistening because your girl don't sweat. Okay, we just we just glisten over here. Okay, for no reason though. Like this water not even helping. Make sure y'all stay hydrated. Cause this heat is coming for everybody. Okay, y'all need to stay in the AC. Drink y'all water. Cause it, it's crazy. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie to y'all right now. I'm I'm sweating right now. It's super hot. What is up? It's your girl Lee Lee here back at it with another video and in today's video I'm sharing with you guys my tips and the products that I use to do my face during the summertime You know that full coverage extra glam sweat proof look that we all you know we all love a full coverage beat but i know that during the summertime you know it's just super hot sometimes you don't feel like wearing makeup and when you do wear makeup you're constantly worrying about your face literally just dripping off no okay even if you do sweat this face right here is not budging it's not going anywhere your face is set throughout the entire entire heat stroke of summer 2018 okay and this has been my routine for about a whole week now and I've been wearing it purposely just to see how well it works for the summertime for the heat and when I say you guys this doesn't transfer at all it doesn't budge my face is literally set for the entire day I don't have to worry about you know my foundation stripping you know any blotchiness you know it's it's just set like I know for sure that this this is the move all summer 2018 okay <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm pretty much giving y'all the rundown, the tips of all the products that I used, and yeah. So, if you guys are interested in seeing um, how I achieved this full coverage, sweat-proof foundation look for the summer, then definitely keep on watching. But before we get started with today's video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It's right there for you to hit, so don't neglect the button, y'all. Go hit the button if you're not subscribed. Also, leave a thumbs up for this video if you do enjoy this video, and if you're interested to see what products I use to create this full coverage look. Um, also, don't forget to turn your notification bells on so that you can get notified every time I post a video. And don't forget to leave a comment down below as well. Let me know what you guys think of this look. And if you have some of the products that I use throughout the video, then definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions and how it has worked out for you. If it has, if it hasn't, let me know down below. And all the products that I use in the video will be listed down below in the description box. So with that being said... Let's just jump right into this video. Alright, so first we're going to start off with moisturizing our face. And the product I'm using is the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. Um, I know you guys are probably thinking, well girl, if you're going to sweat, why are you using something for dry skin? Because, you know, this will only make your face more moisturized and for me i have combination skin so if i'm using all matte products then i need some type of you know moisture on my skin because my skin would get really dry and start to get really flaky and that's not cute when you have makeup on okay so we're gonna use this rub this all in our face so we got some life back in our face, some color, some moisture. Now that we have that done, we're going to jump into our brows. <sighs> so for our brows today, this is an OD but a real goodie. Um, this is one of my favorite um, eyebrow products ever, like ever, hands down. I, this is jumping onto eyebrows. This is one of my favorite eyebrow products ever. This is the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the shade Espresso. And when I tell you guys, this right here is so bomb, like it makes no sense. And it's inexpensive. 
So what I love about this product is that, you know, unlike other brow products, once you put this on your eyebrows, it kind of acts like a eyebrow gel, period, because it sets your eyebrow hairs in place throughout the day. Unlike um, other eyebrow pomades where, you know, it just kind of fills in your brows, but this actually does two in one. So it sets your brows in place and, you know, gives your brows that full look, which I really enjoy. And then, you know, what I really love about this is that, you know, when you go throughout your day, you're sweating, you're hot. Sometimes, if you're like me, then sometimes you forget that you have makeup on and you rub your eye or you rub your eyebrow and then you look at your finger and you see that pomade on your finger. Like, nothing is more like, oh my gosh, did I just take my whole eyebrow off? Like, girl, what are you doing? But with this product right here, you wipe your hands on your eyebrow they're not budging at all so now we're gonna go in with concealer and we're gonna go ahead and clean up our brows I'm using the LA girl pro concealer in the shade warm honey I'm gonna take my fluffy blending brush and just go ahead and blend out this concealer so I know y'all probably like girl why you got your lashes on already I have the individual lashes on and I don't know I wanted to try them out because I've wore them before I had them for graduation and I did them myself and I'm just like you know what girl sometimes putting on these full um sometimes putting on the full lash bands are super annoying because I don't know it's just it's just it just does too much so already having my lashes on just saves a lot of time and I don't have to worry about putting no lashes on because they're already on. And I actually really like, you know, the way that they look. I feel like they look super natural. And yeah, I really like this. So I think I'm going to keep um, wearing individuals just for, you know, time's sake because they are super convenient. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. Being that it's been super hot lately, I have not been doing eyeshadow just because... I mean, it's kind of hard to do eyeshadow when you already have, you know, lashes on. And I've just, I just haven't been feeling like it. So I've pretty much just been rocking like the natural lid with a little bit of bronzer on my lids. And then I'll just call it a day. So I'm not going to do any eyeshadow in today's video. But um, yeah, just to let you guys know, I haven't been doing eyeshadow with, you know, my full looks. So, yeah. For primer, we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Primer. And I love this primer, you guys. I love this primer. It is so good. And we're just going to rub this in our skin. And you guys know that this is a mattifying primer, so this definitely helps. And this also creates a balance, especially because I use a very hydrating moisturizer for my base. And the fact that I'm using a matte primer, it creates kind of like a balance for me not to be super matte to the point where if I feel like, you know, I smiled and my face is cracking. <laughs> we don't want to be that matte, but we don't want to be extra dewy either. So I feel like this creates a very good balance. So I have also been using the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. And this is in the shade 904 and this one in the shade 903. This one is a little bit too light for me and this one is a little bit too dark. So when I mix these two, it creates a very nice and natural glow. And I find that when I use this under my foundations, um, you know, it also acts like a primer. It allows my foundation to actually stick on my face. Like, it's crazy. But I have been using this combo for a while now and I really enjoy the outcome of, you know, mixing these two together and also using the Glotion as a primer. It works really good. And it also gives me some glow. So for foundation, we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Foundation and I'm going to take this in the shade 350 and then I have um this in the shade 430 i'm just gonna mix the two because this is a little bit too light for me being that um i have gotten a little bit darker so we don't want to look ghostly guys we want to look nice and bronzy and still look good i like to use one pump of the 430 
and mix it with one pump of my 350 and sometimes I just add just a little bit more of the 350. All right, so we're just gonna take our flat brush and go ahead and blend this in our skin. And now for concealer, we're going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Dark Warm. And this is a very, very, very good full coverage concealer. I have been using this for quite some time now and I really love this concealer. I don't crease with this and it's not too drying. So although it is full coverage and um, long wearing, it is still very hydrating and I really appreciate that because if the concealer is too dry, then I'll crease like crazy. I really love this concealer. Go in with my same foundation brush and just go ahead and blend out my concealer. And then for contour, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Truffle. And I'm going to apply this on my cheekbones, on my jawline, on the side of my nose, and under my lip. And then I'm going to go in and blend this out. So I stopped applying cream contour on my forehead just because I feel like, you know, um, whenever I do that, I feel like my contour on my forehead looks a little bit too harsh and I don't like it. So I literally just don't apply any on my forehead and only go in with actual powdered contour on my forehead instead. To set my concealer, I'm going in with my Cody Airspun Loose Face Setting Powder in the shade, what shade? In the shade 07041. A lot of people have been asking me what shade does the Airspun Powder come in, and I wasn't aware that it had multiple shades, so there you guys have it. 07041. So I'm just going to go in with the Airspun powder on a brush and I'm just going to go ahead and set my concealer and some parts of my face that I know gets oily. So we're going to go under the eyes of course. On our upper lip. On our chin our nose, our forehead, go ahead and dust off the excess powder. So now that we have our face set with powder, we're going to go in with our powdered contour and I'm using the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. Go ahead and set our contour. And we're just going to dust some of the powder on our forehead. And then next I'm going to apply my blush. And I'm using the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Romantic Rose. Just a nice soft mauve shade. And we're going to take this and lightly just go in on our cheeks with this. I feel like this adds... A very nice flushed look to our face then I like to go in and set my face so that all the powders can pretty much just melt into my skin and I'm using the Maybelline Master Fix locks and makeup long-lasting finish makeup setting spray so while that is setting we're gonna go ahead and apply our eyeliner and mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot mascara and the Morphe eyeliner in the shade black and we're also going to use this eyeliner to go over our beauty marks that got covered up when applying our foundation and concealer and that's done on to highlight we're going to be taking the morphe x bretman babe in paradise palette into mahu and get laid
that our face is pretty much glowing and our highlight is like really just like beaming we're gonna go in with the NYX matte finishing setting spray and we're gonna go ahead and set our face our face is drying we're gonna go on to the lips I'm using the NYX lip liner in the shade toast take the Milani Amore matte lip cream in the shade adorable On top of that, we're going to take the Milani Keep It Full Lip Pumper in the shade Champagne. And this is going to add some pop to our lips. Alright love, so that completes today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. You know, I just wanted to share with you guys my actual start to finish routine of what I do during the summertime and you know just to prepare us as we go throughout this heat because it's it's crazy it's crazy um so yeah I absolutely love you know this full coverage foundation concealer routine sweat proof makeup look and I hope you all enjoyed the video um before we go today's motivational quote is God's use of you doesn't depend on others approval so with that being said I will see you loves in my next video bye we